Hi, this is a chord example problem from the AMC, so let's see what we have. Quadrilateral ABCD is inscribed inside of a circle with angle BAC of 70, angle DB of 40 degrees, length AD of 4, BC of 6. What is the length of segment AC? Okay, so this is a question where a careful drawing will probably help us, so uh, let's try to do that. So when trying to draw a quadrilateral inscribed inside of a circle, I find it's generally better to start with a good circle and try to stuff the quadrilateral inside of it instead of the other way around. So uh, let's try to orient our quadrilateral with uh, A, B, C, and D. And let's try to draw in our first segment, A, D of 4. So let's put that over here. Get us started. The length of 4. And we're going to try to draw in two angles here. We have A, D, B of 40. A, D, B of 40, so to my eye, that's a 40 degree angle. And the second angle, B, A, C of 70. So that's a 90 degree angle, and that's about a 70 degree angle to my eye. So that's point C. Let's fill in the uh, other sides of our quadrilateral. Given that BC is of 6, so that's roughly to scale. 6 is to 4. It's not too far off. And DC. And we just drew in BAC of 70 degrees. Okay, so we have a couple of ways that we can fill in a couple of other angles here. So let's go ahead and do the, the easy ones. So we can use the chord angle relation where angles that subtend the same arc are the same angle. So we have CAB subtending the same arc as BDC. So we can put a 70 degree angle in there. The same is true for ADB versus ACB. So we can put a 40 degree angle over here. Now it seems as though we might be able to work out the individual angles of these smaller triangles. So it seems as though we might be able to introduce this angle of X and say this angle of Y and work around this figure to try to figure out what X and Y are. But, but you'll find that that kind of takes you around in a circle a few times and you realize that you won't be able to determine X and Y individually. But what you do know is that the sum of X and Y is determined by the triangle ACB, the angles of which have to add up to 180 degrees, from which you can find out that the sum of the angles of X and Y is equal to a 70 degree angle. And that's the basic key here. That's the trick for this problem. And that once you determine that the sum of these angles, X plus Y, is equal to 70 degrees, you then determine that ACB is in fact an isosceles triangle. So that AC is equal to CB, and so AC is equal to 6, and that's choice B. Now the other trick in this uh, problem is that they gave you the length of AD, and it turns out that AD is not really required for this problem, so that's a bit of a red herring. So anyway, this is a kind of a tricky problem. It kind of can lead you off into some different directions that could uh, somehow lead you astray, but if you just keep working this problem and try to look for a clue, it can often lead you to the correct answer. So hope that helps, and we'll see you at the next video. Bye-bye.